Hey, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I will be showing you how to get two really good weapons to start off in Dark Souls 2. Both of these weapons are swords, and both of them can actually be found in the Forest of the Fallen Giants, which is basically the very first area where you fight the first boss. Now this first area is the second bonfire, so once you get here... And you'll know it's the right area because you will have the merchant lady over here and you'll have the ladder off to the side which will take you to where you need to go if you want to go fight the boss. But if you walk out this room, now this first weapon is somewhat hidden because if you notice there's a ledge here. You can actually drop down on this platform and as you go down there's going to be some enemies. I would recommend killing these enemies otherwise they will chase you, they will try to kill you, it can be kind of annoying. I'm using the Halberg right now. I just unlocked this weapon and it is uh, pretty good. I'm not, I'm kind of disappointed in it to be quite honest because in the last game, the Halberg was definitely one of my favorite weapons by far. In this game, not so much just because when you're up close, it does a lot less damage and that's kind of annoying because enemies, well, they do tend to rush you and when they get in close, you do literally about half the damage compared to when you're at range so we definitely need to go ahead and upgrade this halberd to a couple really good swords in fact i'm pretty sure i'm going to be dueling these swords pretty soon here all right so there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies out here once again like i said i recommend killing these enemies otherwise they will chase you and if you get overwhelmed you will probably die trying to get the sword so you definitely want to take the time to try to kill these guys honestly these guys are pretty easy to take out they're not that strong now, there's two enemies that will appear here. I do not know where they come from, but every time I go down this tunnel, these guys will chase you. And one thing that is definitely bugging me about this game early on is just the fact that so many enemies will play dead and then jump up behind you to attack you. It's actually kind of cool to be quite honest. Now, if you want to get back up, you can actually go up this ladder. That is a way back up. So if you're wondering how to actually get out of this area, just climb the ladder. Or you can just use a homeward bone. Now before we go in there, you want to go ahead and heal yourself up fully. So I'm going to use a life gem real quick. And you will know that it's the right tunnel because you'll see fire. Now you have to be careful running through this tunnel because there will be an enemy that will appear and will try to burn you to death. So watch out for that. But let's run in here and I guess grab the item but by grabbing the item the enemy will probably hit you but as you can tell it didn't really do all that much damage to me so just open up the door and yeah watch out though because look who it is it's the two enemies that come out of nowhere and they will attack you I do not know exactly where they were were they playing dead were they hiding and that tends to happen quite a bit in this game where you will run through an area and then all of a sudden there's an enemy behind you attacking you. And I kind of like that because I guess the enemies are a little bit smarter in this game compared to Dark Souls. But at the same time, it can scare the crap out of you. And I do not like that. Alright, so we just got the Fire Long Sword. This sword is definitely really good. Now the second sword we're going to get, I personally think the second sword is better. Now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and use a Homeward Bone to get back to the bonfire but like I said if you want you can go ahead and climb up the ladder but you have to risk running back through the tunnel where you might get set on fire and you can die so watch out for that as well now once we get back to the second bonfire we're gonna actually use the bonfire to travel to the first bonfire in this forest now I would think a lot of people might have missed this first bonfire in fact I even missed it in my let's play I was doing my let's play and I totally didn't see it but it's kind of off to the side and I'll try to explain like how to get to it now there's going to be a couple enemies in this area so we can actually go ahead and test out this sword right now and you can pretty much see that it's definitely pretty nice to start the game now the second sword we're going to be getting here is actually a little bit better I have to be honest but you could just go ahead and duel the two swords that is something that is a lot better in Dark Souls 2 compared to the original game dual wielding in the first game was definitely almost worthless where in Dark Souls 2 it's actually feeling like it's a lot better and a lot more fluent now if you want to know how to get to this bonfire it's quite simple if you remember this area and you'll know the area because of the water 
It's like a nice little stream here. It's off to the side. So I definitely think a lot of people might have missed that bonfire just because it's kind of hidden. It's off in its own little corner. Now if we come up here, we can go ahead and kill these enemies. Now you might know where I'm going, but there is an enemy that's up here. He's definitely somewhat of a tough enemy. He's a lot stronger than the normal enemies. And if you kill him, you get his sword. And his sword is definitely really good. It will totally help carry you through the first parts of the game. That's for sure. But the problem is, is that the enemy is pretty tough. So killing him can be somewhat challenging. Especially depending on the class that you start as. I really had no problem killing him when I was playing as a swordsman. That's actually where I found these weapons when I was on my swordsman file. Because the swordsman is actually really good. If you guys are having trouble, I would say you should maybe consider starting as a swordsman. Because that class so far has been pretty awesome. Alright, I definitely recommend killing all the enemies in this area before we actually fight them. Because we don't want the enemies doing any type of damage. Now there's an archer at the top. So watch out for that. You do get a free attack. So I recommend maybe trying to do a jumping attack. Or something very powerful. Because he really won't hit you from that first attack. Now when I first started fighting him here. I was trying to R1 spam him and hit him. And it really wasn't working. But then I figured out with this sword. You can actually take him out really easily. If you just simply... Use your RT or R2, depending on what you're on, if you use your power attack. The power attack on this longsword is really good. It's a nice little stab, and if you know anything about Dark Souls, all the pokey weapons are pretty good, that's for sure. And I really like the power attack on this. And when you hit this guy with the power attack, you will actually stun him, so that is just amazing. So it makes killing this guy super easy, because you'll pretty much see me take him out with no problem once I figured out that stabbing him well it stuns him right there I'm pretty sure he blocked my attack so let's just go ahead and stab him again and he is dead alright by killing him we will get the heed knight sword I think I'm saying that right I might not be saying that right if I'm not saying it right please go ahead and tell me how to say it I'm just guessing now, one thing I am really confused about with this game is the interface. I like it. I think it's a little bit more organized than it was in Dark Souls. Unfortunately, I have trouble like knowing where the names are or what the items are because I'm just not used to it. I'm so used to Dark Souls that I feel like this game kind of trolls me. Now, the reason why I'm coming up here is because I thought, hey, let me go ahead and show this just because I'm right in this area and this is somewhat off to the side it can be somewhat hidden so if you miss this if you're coming back to this area anyway definitely climb up that ladder and you can get some items and you get a soul of a nameless soldier and you can also get a weapon sadly with our two new weapons I would say that this weapon probably isn't all that great but it is the short sword so this is another weapon you can get all you gotta do is just make that jump and you can grab it Alright guys, well I really hope this has helped you out. If it has, will you please like the video and favorite it for me? I really do appreciate that when you guys take the time to like the video because it helps me out a lot. You guys should definitely subscribe to me if you're interested in seeing some more Dark Souls 2 content. I'm doing a Let's Play right now and it's really funny and it's definitely epic. But yeah guys, I really hope that you have a very nice day and peace out.